A few years ago, I visited China for the very first time. And in preparation, I also learned a few words so I could communicate with my girlfriend's family. Disappointed with my ability to understand anything, I was extremely motivated to learn Chinese when I got back home. Okay, I admit, I'm pretty lazy and I didn't study any Chinese after my trip. But now, I'm gonna get started. So basically, my Chinese is non-existent. I know like 30 words that I'm probably saying in the wrong tone and with a messed up pronunciation. Also, since my girlfriend is Chinese and I do really enjoy eating Chinese food, I have a very specific vocabulary. So to start my Chinese language learning journey, I found this beginner audiobook which works pretty well. And I also started learning using some Anki decks. And it's going okay, but I'm really struggling with tones and pronunciation. Like, logically, I understand it will take a long time for my brain to start recognizing tones and for my mouth to produce sounds it's never made before. Do you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? But it still feels so frustrating. One thing that seems to help me is to move my head along with the tones, which my girlfriend always makes fun of me for. Also, I want to talk about this sentence. First of all, what's going on with the R sounds? It's not really R, it's not a J, W or Z. It's like five letters combined. Runch. <laughs> and this whole sentence just sounds like a DJ remix. Run, 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 run. Okay, let's go. Okay, so this is kind of embarrassing, but I was trying to say I do not know this word. But I just found out I accidentally said I do not know this. I did not have sexual relations with that woman. I thought maybe I should start learning some characters. You see, Pinyin is the westernized version of the Chinese characters. But if I want to start reading books or watching movies with subtitles... You kind of need to know the characters. And you have all these YouTube videos trying to make you believe this is super easy to learn. Today, we'll be learning Chinese characters, which are surprisingly easy. Just take a look at this one. Have any idea what it could mean? It means one. E, simply one horizontal line. And what do you think the number two would look like? That's correct, two horizontal lines. Wanna guess for number three? <laughs> yes, no surprise indeed. Three horizontal lines. Pretty easy, right? But I can hear you think. It can't possibly be that simple. Well, let's try another one. Does that remind you of something? That's right. Great job. It's a mountain. But then you have some really common characters like Tao or Yao, where the meaning suddenly is not that obvious. I also have a few really insane ones. So in the end, I kind of gave up on characters for now. 
So in order to learn Chinese, I tried a bunch of different websites, YouTube channels and courses, and I was really surprised to see how bad most of them are. You know, then you pay a few hundred bucks trying to streamline the language learning process, but it just feels like everyone just makes a course in a weekend and then, yeah, tries to get rich doing so. Trust me, I lose money sell to you for this price. Mara. But luckily, there are some tools I do like. For total beginners, you have audiobooks from Paul Noble, which he has in a bunch of different languages and yeah, are pretty good to get started. So for YouTube channels, I really like Grace Mandarin Chinese and Shoshu Chinese. And those together with a course by Outlier Linguistics, I think, yeah, do a really good job of explaining the tones and the pronunciation. Although obviously it hasn't quite worked on me yet. But that's, that's my fault, uh, not theirs. I also use Glossika, which is basically Anki for lazy people. You know, in Anki you can make your own flashcard or import it from others. Uh, but Glossika has thousands of pre-made sentences that are read out loud by Chinese speakers. And then lastly, I use Link. Which is a pretty good tool for uh, reading and then listening at the same time. So after one year of working very hard. So if you couldn't tell already by the quotation marks, I didn't really study hard at all, like barely 30 minutes a day. But I promise I'll do better next year. My Chinese is still terrible. And of course, I know a lot more than I did a year ago, <laughs> but overall, it's still really, really bad. I only know some loose phrases, but not nearly enough to have a real conversation with someone. Which sucks, because the whole of YouTube is filled with videos like, oh, how I got fluent in Japanese in one month. How I learned native level Spanish in only 10 days. How I got my PhD in Tagalog by only studying 17 microseconds. But reality is, learning a language is pretty hard. And if, like me, you're not really willing to put in the time, progress will be slow. So, so I was walking around Beijing the other day and I saw this guy laying on the side of the street and he just kept screaming at me. Iyuan, Iyuan. Well, normally I don't give money to beggars so I just kind of brushed him off and went on with my day. But then later I realized he wasn't screaming Iyuan. He was screaming, even because he had just got into a car accident and needed to go to the hospital. Thank you. Thank you.